today we are going to take a tour of our outboard collection. First off is a 1996 Yamaha 20 horsepower. Got dual carbs, two cylinders, front four neutral reverse shift. Very clean motor, minimal use, only one to two hours. Uh, good spark, good compression, good fuel system. The lower unit broke, so we are currently looking for another one. Other than that, it's a nice little motor. Next off is a 1948 Evinrude Zypher. Cool thing about this motor, it's four cylinders. All four cylinders have good spark. We have not yet messed with the fuel system, so the motor does not run yet. It does have a good lower unit. Next in the fleet is a 1948 Lawson 6 horsepower, air-cooled, two-cylinder, four-stroke. You add the oil right down there. Do not mix it with the gas. Motor currently does not run. We're probably going to sell it because the parts that it needs, which is coils, condenses, points, are too hard to find. And if you do find them, they're expensive. Moving on, we got 1955 through 1957 Johnson 10 horsepower with the front four neutral reverse shift. Uh, it's got strong spark, good compression. Uh, the fuel system's probably good, and we have not been able to test it yet due to missing fuel lines. But it should run. It also has a good lower unit. Problem with this motor is it's missing the serial number plate. I'm thinking it's probably stolen. Not by us, though. So we're going to look for a new bracket. Um, next, we've got a 1948 Johnson 10 horsepower with the front for a neutral reverse shift. This is a parts motor. Uh, it's got good spark, good compression. We took part of the carburetor off for use on this. But it's got a lot of good parts. Next off is a 1952 Johnson 10 horse with the same front forward neutral reverse shift. This motor has good spark, good compression. It runs for short periods of time. We think there's something wrong with the carburetor though. Next we have a 1958 Johnson 18 horsepower, good spark, good compression, side front new forward neutral reverse shift, good lower unit, it's got carburetor problems though. Next is a 1941 Johnson 9.8 horse, power head has been taken off obviously. We're gonna, we took it to a shop, put new rings in, because we're too lazy to do it ourselves. I got a bar box of parts, a magneto, carburetor, everything else. They're all painted, ready to be put back on. So when you get the power head, this thing should be running. Next we have a 1929 Johnson 3 horsepower model A45. First 3 horsepower model that Johnson made. This motor runs. Uh, it's got two cylinders, no shift, no impeller, but it is water cooled. Um, yeah, nice little motor. Unique little feature on this. It's got this knob. You shift it like just like that. And it shuts off that cylinder, it releases the pressure. So it can be a 1.5 horsepower, good for fuel economy. It also has a thrust reducer, so you control. Nice little motor. Next we have a 1940 Johnson 2.5 horsepower. This motor is good compression, good spark, good lower unit. Has some carb carburation trouble though. It should run if we get that fixed though. Last off, the fleet is a 1974 Evinrude Light Trend 4 horsepower. This motor runs, good carburetor, good spark, good compression, and good impeller. Alright, thanks for watching.